Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can get VMware Workstation, which is the paid version of VMware Player, and Backtrack 3 on your computer for free. It's pretty simple. You just want to open your browser, which I'm assuming you already have done because you're watching this video. In the address bar, you want to type kickasstorrents.com. And it's going to take you to this page. In the search bar, you want to type VMware Workstation. The, you want to download the second one. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. Now, to get the uh, ISO images that you'll need to put into your, v your workstation, you want to go to this address, backtrack-linux.org backslash downloads. I'll put links to both of these in the description. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, the last one is the Backtrack 3 final release. And you just download that. So, if you're going to go ahead, if you're trying to do this along with the video, go ahead and pause the video and uh, go ahead and do download both of those. Now, I'm assuming you have all those downloaded. What you want to do is you want to go to your downloads or wherever you saved them. You want to double click on this. And I use the first one. Now you're going to double click on the setup for VMware Workstation. And it should bring up the wizard. Okay, now you see the windows popped up. Wait for it to load. You're going to go ahead and click next. You shouldn't have to go through this. I'm going to put modify and change just because, you know. I'm going to leave the settings the same though. You just hit next and you hit continue. Now what yours is going to do is it's going to ask you for a uh, key and you're just going to double click this little key gen, copy this, and paste it into where it asks for it. Okay, then you want to go ahead, exit out of this, and you want to go ahead and open your workstation. Oh, file, new, virtual machine. And you'll get this little wizard popping up. Just have it on typical. Click next. Now you want the ISO image, and you're gonna browse, and you're gonna go to wherever you saved it. I saved mine in downloads. You see, I have both my ISOs here. I'm gonna click the backtrack three first. Open, and it'll save that as the location it'll look every time if you delete it from if you delete the ISO from wherever you have it saved it will quit working you can't run it without that ISO there so don't delete the ISO you're just going to click next you want to put this on Linux and you want to put this on other Linux 2.6 X kernel click next up here you can name it whatever you want I usually name mine backtrack 3 that way I know what it is Next, I usually just leave the the maximum disk disk space. Sorry, on eight, and you just want to store it in a single file. Click next. You don't need to customize any of the hardware. You just click finish, and what that's going to do is just going to create your virtual machine. See, there we have it, and it's going to go ahead and fire it up. Now, I really don't want this running right now because I'm not going to be using it. So I'm going to click the X and power off. Click OK and it'll shut it down. And that's pretty much all there is to it. See ya.